So we got the mini wash plant out in the field for the first time. You know, it's been tested uh, on my property, but this is actually out in the field on three lots of cobbles. And it was a real learning experience for us. Um, found out a lot of things. Um, I was having a problem with the flow out of the nozzles, uh, no matter what I did at, at, at by my shop. So what we uh, have done is we brought down my 2,000 watt uh, on the generator. Instead of running off a battery or off of, uh, uh, a power supply like I was doing, we're running off the generator. And at first it seemed to make a big difference. And you can see the flow off the sluice is pretty good. We had a terrible time getting everything's level getting the sluice level and the, and the mini wash plant itself. Uh, and that's something we're going to correct here in the near future. Now, this wasn't so much a getting the gold type of uh, setup. This was a uh, testing flows and set up uh, how hard it would be to set up. It was, a, it was a real challenge. One of our main challenges was uh, getting enough angle on the upper uh, part of the slick plate but just above the nozzles. Uh, the rocks would run off great, but the, uh, the pines wouldn't. You can see here, the pines stayed in the, on the upper end, the rocks came through, and they're being worn behind. equipment runs real close to that of a dry washer in that uh, you load it up and you, you work the rocks a little bit and uh, scrape them off the back of the grizzly and they were scraping off the, the front of the punch plate. As you can see from this angle, you can see the material just above the nozzle that it stays there. And I need to do something with either the nozzle, uh, where I can get a little bit of water spraying up on that to help wash it down, or get, maybe get a better angle. It's right about here that I notice that the water flow isn't what it should be. Although we are uh, running off a generator and I have a full uh, 12 and a half volts coming out of it, uh, I'm not sure if I've got a pump problem or not, uh, but that's one of the things we discovered that and I'm able to get the right angle to keep everything level with the sluice at one angle and the wash plant at another. That spot I'm digging in, uh, there's a really good spot, not a big rock. You notice uh, this machine will take two number two shovels uh, full of gravel and it doesn't miss a beat, it just keeps flowing, even with the problems we were having. This really shows how slow my water is right here. That is a few thousand gallon of an hour pump, but that's not two thousand gallons an hour.
but as you can see, uh, this is a pretty good spot, and that machine is taking these heaping shovels through the dirt with no problem. So the design is correct, it's just a little of the afterthought, so I'm going to change the direction of those loose runs, and I'm going to do another video showing you how that's going to be done. But the generator's good. You notice the pumps there in the water, and I've got about uh, eight feet of hose on it. It's the same as I used at the house where I had a little bit more. found a spot here that's actually on the bedrock. This has some embedded rocks in it, so we're hoping this is going to be good. She did a lot of nice filming for me, and there was nothing in the pan, so I, I struck out, so we're hoping it's in here. Big nuggets. <laughs> It's full, so I'm gonna get Chuck to carry it up to the water for me. Okay, Cheryl's uh, running her material through the wash plant. Um, and, you know, everything seems to be working good. You see where they, they wash off right there? Even if the rocks stay there, it, it's still good. Notice how slow the water was on the nozzles, and how slow the flow is coming down the sluice now. I finally got the sluice where it's about halfway level, but it's, uh, it's, it's just not quite enough flow with that pump.
know, for anybody who's dry washed, it's kind of like dry washing when you have dirt on your grizzly. You push it down and you rake your gravel on your grizzly. It's kind of the same thing. If we had more water pressure, we wouldn't have to do near as much of this, but uh, I think it's going to be time for a new pump. So what we do here is we uh, break it on the slick plate underneath the spray nozzle. That's sure what's going now. And we check all the rocks that are have any kind of a appearance that might be gold on them. We start dry washing. And then rake it down into the pump plate. Everything falls through. Goes down into the sluice. And catches all the nuggets. Right about here, I got feeling uh, pretty poorly, so uh, we packed it up for the day, and uh, so I'm not going to get to show you much gold, absolutely none. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and comment.